Namaste. Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I am Cadet JD. And I'm Anjali. Hum Ache Hey Kai Say Hey Up. And today we're going to do a movie review mm-hmm. on LOC mm-hmm. about the cargo war. Yeah. So we've done a few few other videos way, way back. Um where the mother makes care for her son every year who yeah. was lost in the cargo war. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm sure she's not the only one. Yeah. Just that was the one story that was recommended to us. And we've learned a little bit about it in the in this journey that we've taken mm-hmm. here at the Jan family about the cargo war. I know this is the one war my husband mm-hmm. was, you know, in his teens when it happened. And he talks yeah. about, you know, he was waiting for them to need more soldiers because mm-hmm. he was going to sign up and... That was not where his mindset was. Like, he was thinking, you know, he was going to go to school and go to college and stuff. But when this was going on, he was really mm-hmm. like, I if if they need me, if, if they have to call more mm-hmm. people in to sign up, I'm going to get in line. And um, But things turned around, and, and, yeah. and they won. So that part of it, but he's like, this. that was the one time I really felt like, if my country comes knocking, I'm walking right behind them. Yeah. So, and that's how it should be, mm-hmm. you know. So, anyways, we really enjoyed this movie. Yeah, yeah it was right? a really good movie. Yeah. Jaden, you're going to give your stars now or yes. later? 20 stars. 20 Out stars. Out of what? Out of 10. <laughs> you give it 20 stars out of 10. Okay, mm-hmm. now we have to tell the people why you're going to give them 20 stars. Because I love the war, how they won. They won in the mm-hmm. end. It was, I can say, an emotional roller coaster, that movie. Very emotional. Yeah. Yes. But the scenery, they really gave you... The realistic It feel. looked very realistic. I mean, it wasn't like a normal Indian mm-hmm. movie like where everything goes right. It was like an actual realistic mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. It looked like they were out at war. Mm-hmm. It yeah. wasn't like in a studio. You could tell it wasn't like yeah. studio done. It was yeah. definitely like out in, in the, the desert. Outdoors in bit- the desert in mm-hmm. like um, a dead like harsh con- conditions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, they also brought in like the family stories behind yeah. some of the soldiers that were you know, the, the main characters in it. And that kind of gave you, um, I think, the feel of what they go through, mm-hmm. you know, waiting for those letters. We did that um, song from Border where they talk mm-hmm. about the letters that come in the mail yeah. or, like, mm-hmm. the wind that whispers your name kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, that w- is what I thought of, like, you know, waiting for those Definitely. letters. Well, in this one, it was a little bit newer, so they actually were able to call yeah. Um, and talk to their loved ones a little yeah. bit here or there. Um, but yes, definitely an emotional roller coaster. And uh, yeah, I liked the realistic part of it. It really made you feel like you were out in the desert with them. You were yeah. climbing the rocks with them, you know, when the mm-hmm. explosions. Yeah. Right, Jaden? Like airplanes explode you. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, no. were, I don't think any airplanes exploded. No airplanes exploded, but there were definitely some big explosions that sent mm-hmm. rocks tumbling and a bunch of other mm-hmm. stuff that actually happened. So right, and like they brought in those big helicopters to mm-hmm. fly out like the yeah. injured soldiers, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, they really made you feel like you went through the process, mm-hmm. and and then they brought back like okay, they. They didn't know what was going on. So we know a little bit about the real cargo war. They didn't really know that it was like the Pakistan army was behind it. They were thinking it was just a couple guys with a couple guns. Like some goons. Yeah, Yeah. some goons that got sent to like make some trouble. And so they kept sending out, you know, the foot soldiers to check check on it, go see what's going on. And then nobody was returning. Yeah. And... And it took a little while, I think, for them to be like, okay, this is more than just a couple of guys. And I didn't Mm -hmm. realize from watching, until we watched this movie, how many different areas they actually took Mm -hmm. over. Yeah. I thought it was was kind of one 
tower that they took over yeah, one spot. Yeah, same, but it wasn't. But watching this movie, I realized they took over a bunch of different, like, places high up in the mm-hmm. mountains, which is what gave them the advantage, because then they could see down mm-hmm. and um, shoot the, the soldiers. Mm-hmm. Um, but the camaraderie that came with this, too, mm-hmm. like, the soldiers taking care of each other in it... That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We always do the soldiers and we say how much we appreciate you guys. Watching this gives us a, even more of a glimpse as to... What's the, it life being... What, what life is being a soldier. Yeah. Being out in the field. Um, mm-hmm. You know, they, Sacrificing your everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For your country. But, but they had some like... They joked with each other, you know. Yeah, it was like they were like buddies and friends and then when it got serious they had to like be serious and get ready to fight right yeah they were able to like joke and sing songs and yeah and talk about their weddings or their loved ones and um you know memories and stuff so but they definitely were you you really Mm -hmm. got that emotional feel that they were that they they helped each other out Mm -hmm. that they you know really um like camaraderie and and the guys that were in jar- charge like the jay and mm-hmm. and some of these bigger actors that were like the captains mm-hmm. lieutenants i'm not really sure what the official terminology mm-hmm. yeah they really were like you know we won the we won it we got we locked this area down and you know we won the fight but we didn't win the war right or mm-hmm. they would then say but we lost some of our men. Yeah. And so you mm-hmm. really felt like they felt responsible. You know, they were mm-hmm. in charge of that troop going up there that when the you know, lost some guys mm-hmm. that it was like family, you know. Yeah. And um yeah. Very, yeah. very emotional. Very emotional. Um mm-hmm. and we support you. Yes. Because they talked about we always talked about this too is like coming home for Diwali or Holy yeah they were talking about holidays like yeah she wrote to me and I know she wants me to come home for our anniversary and they were Diwali's coming up yeah and and there were little moments with like the color all around and she being like upset that he wasn't here yeah where she his wife was making Rangoli and and then she messed it up because she was sad um yeah that he wasn't there to 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 celebrate with her and a lot of them are like celebrating holidays so there were like different scenes from the different um characters of the soldiers yeah. right yeah you got a little bit from each soldier's like home personal mm. story you know yeah. some of it was love stories yeah. um like a jay it was his mom more like um that was his you know person that he called um because he wasn't married, you know, but some of them had kids, and they yeah. did a lot of flashbacks. Um, Especially, like, when they were, like, about to die, or, like, they're trying to fight. Like, they have flashbacks of, like, their loved ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was really, mm-hmm. really sad. Um, yeah. But the director did an awesome job. Yeah. I think pulling the emotions, like, you were... Like, redirecting the whole thing, like, recreating it. Based on the cargo war, it looked exactly like scenes like that you'd see, except like better scenes because yeah. it has to be like movie. Right. Well, and just getting you to kind of go through that emotion of like there'd be times when they were like, nobody can come into our home. You know, this is them invading our home and yeah. we are going to fight. So you felt proud. And when they won it, you were like, yes, they did yeah. it, you know, and even though there was you know they lost people and and you know there was ex- explosions and stuff but but they would win that sector back and and then you would get the emotion of like um you know then it would bring in the family ties mm-hmm. and how they how they said their goodbyes yeah. before they left their family yeah that uh, yeah gets you touches your heart mm-hmm. when yeah, they're getting really on the does. train mm-hmm. like um, or they would say on the phone, like, if I don't come back, you know, make sure you don't look back. You mm-hmm. go forward. Um, a couple of them, I think, mm-hmm. said that. In the... Yeah. So 
it really, yeah. I tried really hard not to cry too much in the movie, but it definitely pulled at a lot of heartstrings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it made me feel proud, too, at mm-hmm. the same time. Like, they once they figured out what was going on, because it did seem to take a little bit longer that they realized it was military force mm-hmm. behind Pakistan coming into India and taking over these areas mm-hmm. along Kargil. Once they got there and they started preparing bigger forces to go mm-hmm. and you know the bigger trucks right with the big mm-hmm. guns Jaden that's when you know you were like yes yeah. right you get proud and excited mm-hmm. that all of this is going on mm-hmm. and they were winning it back yeah um, winning yes yeah and then once they got tiger right tiger hill mm-hmm. yeah tiger hill was like the turning point and they knew they they had it they were on top. Yeah. They got it back. It was, you know, one of those things like we know when it was going on, you know, Daddy talks about like Pakistan mm-hmm. talked like the Prime Minister said like he didn't know what was going on, that they were saying it was just mil- you know, militants, not the military. But then yeah. we find out later that it really is the military that was doing this and and how it you know what did it end up doing other than killing, you know, f- people from both sides, not just from India's side, but Pakistan's side as well, mm-hmm. and a lot of money and bloodshed, and it didn't... It didn't improve anything. It didn't bring anything yeah. together. It didn't no. do anything, because Pakistan didn't get anything of... No, they didn't get anything out mm-hmm. of it. They got pushed back where they were. And India just got their part of the country back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it... It ended up only causing more um, trouble, Mm -hmm. and Daddy had said, too, that this was the time when the two prime ministers at that time Mm -hmm. were working to try to do more peace stuff. Yeah. And then... And try and, like, combine together and connect and do other things to help. Yeah. To do good things, and then Mm -hmm. this happened, and Mm -hmm. so that kind of broke things apart. I know there's many things things off, yeah. um, Within the last 70 years that have broke stuff apart with Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's one of those things we always say we really want to see Mm -hmm. Pakistan do good things like instead of focusing on destruction of India focus on your economy focus focus on on what you can do better focus on like trying to do better but help improve your connection with other countries like India Mm -hmm. or even if you don't want I mean India used to be your brother so working together I think would be better than fighting yeah but Focusing on a good economy, tre- you know, teaching the kids good things, not how to kill Indians, um, you know, and how to hatred. Like, this, mm-hmm. it feels like there's a lot of hatred in that country mm-hmm. towards India. And I feel like you used to be brothers once, and there's got to be a way to either, if you can't work together, at least focus on your own country and stop stop starting wars that is not getting you anywhere. Yeah. Um, but that's a side note. We had some really awesome quotes. This this movie was amazing, but it was very long. It was long. So it was about four hours long, and so that was long. It was a little bit long. But I, like, watching it, I don't know. Like, I liked seeing the family stories behind each of the characters. But it was really, like, heartbreaking when you saw the people dying and you saw, like, their memories back. And I was like, no. Yeah. But I think you needed that. And then you did. You did. I kind of liked seeing, you know, like, <coughs> you're right, mm-hmm. different sectors that, you know, this went first and then this next section had to go mm-hmm. fight this next yeah. sector. And mm-hmm. so you kind of had. I feel like that you still needed yeah. those storylines. You still needed some of that. Um, so I don't know where you'd cut it to make it shorter. I don't know. But it either. was a little bit long. But yeah, it, it definitely was. tore at your emotions, made you proud, made you cry. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. There was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But there was some really great actors in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jay, who we still need to see Tahanji. Mm-hmm. Um, we do. But he was amazing. Probably one of the best in this one, I think. Yeah. Um, and Street Dancer 3D. <laughs> wrong movie. <laughs> That's Varun. Yeah. And Ajay is in Tahanji. And he's been in other movies, too. But that's yeah. the one I remember him most recently in. 
Um, Sanjay Dutt, we've seen in other stuff. He did amazing. Yeah. Amateur Bachchan's son, which when mm-hmm. Daddy told us that's who it was, I was, I was like, like oh, oh, my God. I totally see it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I, it took me a minute, but when he was like, oh, I was like, yeah, it does look exactly like a younger yeah. version of Amateur Bachchan. Um, he did an amazing job. Did he look the same size as me? No. No? No, even though it's his son, his son is older than you. And he's they in the military. No, there was only a little and girl in the story. Yeah, yeah, from one of the families. Yeah. So no little, little, not too many little children in this story, Jaden. Mm-hmm. Most of the, the children were adults. Because I feel like it'd be hard to get that aspect of it, like have the children crying in, like, that yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, I think, yeah. Well, I don't think too many of the main characters had kids. No. So that kind of... That helped, and it, mm-hmm. they didn't have to play Only off like, on that. Only, like, I think two had kids, so. Yeah, but they had significant others, most of them, or, you know, parents, like... Um, Love stories and parents, yeah. yeah. Some of them, mm-hmm. like, um, I forget what they called him. He had, like, a nickname, mm-hmm. Robin. Yeah. When he was like, I almost missed saying goodbye to my mom. She ran to the sweet shop to get me sweets before I left His on the train. His favorite sweets, His yeah. favorite sweets, and almost missed... The train, like she got there just in time with his dad, and um, and to say goodbye, and he, you know, stayed outside the train to yeah. kind of like mm-hmm. that last glimpse. Um, somebody else mm-hmm. said that too, like make sure you turn around to to see me one last mm-hmm. time. But that's almost hard too. Like, what if that is the last mm-hmm. time? And for some of those soldiers, it was. Um, yeah. But such bravery yeah another sad thing was like the friendship inside so they so there were two characters that almost had like pretty close to the same names Mm -hmm. and one of them died and the other one was severely injured so when it came to the time where they were like coming back with their families he pointed over to his lost friend who was in the box yes yeah yeah the this definitely is a tissue box movie yeah. Um, because we've seen some of the pictures and we know that um, when they came back home, you know, not everybody came back. Everybody came back, like they said, but some of them not alive. And um, it definitely tears tears at your heartstrings because yeah. it's true. This We also enjoy this because it is a true story and it gives you a little bit of the history yeah. of... Um, you know what happened um i feel like everybody should watch this we have a lot of um non-supporters of india here in the u.s you know uh, especially in the congress and congressional hearings and i feel yeah. like not so much they have to watch this movie but learn some of the history and realize what's happening and yeah. what like people are doing like what people yeah. are going through there right and and like christine fair did you read the things did you read the article before you talk did you about look through it? the history did you read about the history do you know your facts before you start you know saying questions you know yeah um so those are the kind of things like um negationism is another one we've learned that a lot of stuff has been swept under um, the table and and people don't want to hear about this. I never heard about the cargo war, and I know the U.S. got involved um, from Pakistan's side because the prime minister came here and um, our president was kind of like, "You need to pull back, um, yeah. or you won't get our support." So, but I don't remember hearing about this in the news. It no. wasn't a big thing. So, we those don't really are the kind of things. In school, so right. we need. The more people that know about these, the better it is. And we like to make sure we um, salute all the soldiers for all their hard work. Right, Jaden? What was one of your favorite parts in this movie? My favorite part is, like, when they fight it and they won the war. In the end? With Tiger Hill. The very last yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Because then it was, they they were winning. Yeah, my favorite mm-hmm. part is really sad part. But I really like it because it, like, ties the story all together. So it was when, like, someone said, um, we're friends. 
like if one of us dies but our friendship will not die right Mm -hmm. yeah our friendship will always be there yeah Yeah. there are a lot of like crying scenes right and a lot of good quotes too yeah Uh, the other one um where ajay says something to the guy about being handsome it's about like (coughs) death like death is yeah like like death death is a mistress like a woman yeah Yeah. and she'll come and find you and she'll come and find one of the handsomest of the bunch right and he's like well i'm not handsome right and jay's like ask your mother that question yeah. like ask your mother if you're handsome or not because it's always in the eyes of the beholder right mm-hmm. and um yeah in in mm. these kind of situations and i and i feel like a lot of them also especially the mm. like i don't want to i don't know if they're captains or like whoever was in charge yeah i feel like they were like okay guys you stay here i'm gonna go I just need somebody to kind of back and me And even up. when the other people would say, like, stop, like, there were some people, like, ahead of them, like, above them a little bit. Even when they would say stop, there was one person who just ran up this hill and said, cover me. Right. And I was like... Yeah, you knew they weren't going to make it back after that. But yeah. they were going because their friend was hurt, and and they knew they were, like, almost there. And they're like, if I can you know, jump over the thing and throw that last grenade or, or shoot that last guy, like, the rest of my troops will be... So, like, sacrificing yeah. yourself. Um, and I'm sure there was a lot of that. Um, yeah. Like we said, you guys do an amazing job out in that field, sacrificing your life, s- sacrificing not being around your families during holidays times, which always makes me sad. Mm-hmm. But you guys do it for the love of the country. Mm-hmm. And if other countries made sure that their country was first, not their religion, I feel like there would be so much better. And if there is an internal turmoil between people, you know, like even in this, they had pictures of all the gods on a shelf. So people could go in and and do a little prayer before they went off to battle. And Um, it didn't just be like a Hindu god. It would be like Muslim. It would be like Sikh. There would be all kinds of gods. Yeah, there were at least four or five. Yeah, there were like uh, four gods, yeah. Pictures. Um, So secular and, you know, diversity. And, you know, as much as that can also bring turmoil, it also brings great things, you know. Mm so many good things have come out of India because yeah. of the diversity. Yeah. So, anyways, this movie was amazing. It was really good. Um, like we said, I, our, our only beef a little bit is it was kind of long. It was a little bit long. But so I enjoyed it. It was yeah. like a lot of, I think because it was an emotional roller coaster is my, my terminology for it. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else um, that we wanted to talk about? Oh, I know. Thinking back to like 2611 and and you know maybe arming your people, letting them have like we have the Second Amendment here that they have firearms and training them so that you know if worst case scenario the military can't get there you have enough people civilians that can kind of jump in and help out if something like that ever happened again you know that's an extreme case but that was something else i thought about when watching the movie (coughs) do you need a cough drop no no just coughing a little bit just coughing a little bit okay well, this was kind of a long review of the movie, but it was a long movie. Yeah. So you get a long review. I hope mm-hmm. you guys liked it as much as we did. And don't forget to subscribe. And join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.